Since the beginning of time men and women have used bones, gemstones, metal and crystals as body decorations, or to create talismans and amulets to attract positive forces and repel negative ones. Talismans and amulets were supposed to have the power to repel evil spirits or attract good ones. The difference between a talisman and an amulet is that a talisman works in a positive way, drawing the forces needed to produce the effects its owner wishes. A talisman is prepared specifically for the person who is to use it, therefore talismans are very personal. They are basically magical objects that possess preternatural, occult, powers but an amulet has the more negative function of diffusing specific causes before they can produce an undesired effect. Amulets may take the form of any object aimed to bring luck or safeguard the well-being of its owner. They come in many diverse forms, such as gemstones, pictures, rings, statuettes, coins etc. To some degree, both an amulet and a talisman accomplish the same outcome. An amulet which wards off bad luck is, when you think of it, doing much the same thing as a talisman which sets out to obtain good luck, keep you safe from harm, or to find your true love. Even now, numerous people from all walks of life have faith in the magical power of particular gems, metals, talismans and amulets. Take pearls, for instance. These days the wearing of pearls is thought to enrich one's inner charm and bring about goodwill and serenity. Gold is another example since ancient times gold has acquired the captivation of all people. Gold is used to enrich the power of other gemstones. That's why it has always been a popular setting for gemstones. Gold is also thought to attract prosperity and power, because the wearer of gold is seen to be robust and influential. In ancient India the warriors had swords that were decorated with garnets, confident in the certainty that this would bring them good fortune in combat. A garnet can also be worn as a charm to boost sensuality and sexuality. Likewise, diamonds are said to help in the liberation of sexual tension and to aid the wearer to attract the opposite sex. Other popular gems are sapphire and turquoise. Sapphire has always been associated with upholding friendships and upholding loyalty and another belief is that it protects the wearer from capture. Turquoise is well liked as a charm because of its supposed ability to change color when the wearer is in danger. Also in many cultures it is believed to be a bringer of good fortune. You can wear gemstones as charms, amulets or basically as fashion symbols but for a lot of people today, as in ancient times, they are not only chosen for their beauty, but for the supposed advantages that they bring to the wearer also. Good luck, 